I'm going to take you through my experience of extracting 57 additional horsepower out of my Pajero. So I have a 2008 3.8 liter petrol engine Pajero. I'm the first owner of the car, so I know its history pretty well. Uh, I've done the upgrades in two phases, uh, phase one and phase two, and I'm going to explain what I've done in each phase. Uh, phase two is actually the interesting one where I've gone beyond the typical and I've actually upgraded and installed bigger pistons. So I've put the car on the dyno during phase one and phase two, and I have the results as we go along to verify the, the impact of the different upgrades on, on the car. Now, uh, before I put the car on phase one uh, on the dyno, I actually had done an engine rebuild. So I had one of my intake butterflies fly, fall or fly into my uh, engine and I actually destroyed it. So I had to replace my valves and I had to replace also my pistons. So technically, when I started uh, the journey of, of installing performance parts, I had done it after rebuilding the engine. So the engine was in relative good condition. So the first time I put the car on the dyno, as you can see in the result right here, it's churned out around 190 horsepower. Now, for me, I don't really care about what the reading on the dyno is exactly. Different dynos will give you different numbers depending on how heavy the dyno is. However, what I'm really looking at is the percentage increase in power as we, I've installed the different parts in the car. So that's really what I'm looking for. And I'm also looking for the performance curve on the dyno charts. So let's get into phase one. I'm going to show you all the parts and all the parts are in the description below. Started with upgrading these spark plugs. I've used the Evo spark plugs. Uh, I've installed the Magnaflow High Flow Cat. Um, and by the way, I'm not affiliated with any of these brands but I've just done this with trial and error and I'm sharing my experience. I've also added a muffler with a three inch uh, cutout. So what this resulted in is a high flow cat uh, connected to a three inch muffler. I didn't change the size of the exhaust pipes. I've also installed headers. So I've ordered these from Australia, the typical Australian headers. So I've also had these installed, though I'm facing a bit of issues with these where they're uh, leaking every once in a while however they do the job quite nicely uh, i've wrapped them at some point but i've taken the wrap off because i've heard that can result in rust and all kinds of other problems uh, i've also installed a uh, air filter a performance air filter uh, it's a dry one uh, we need these uh, in, in our kind of weather in the, the desert at the same time i've created a custom box with a scoop that uses the uh, stock scoop, but also scoops air in between the lights in the front. Uh, after I've installed all of these, these are basic upgrades that you typically see on cars. I've uh, installed Unichip on the car. So Unichip is a device that allows us to uh, tune uh, different parameters from uh, fuel and, and engine timing. So uh, it's a piggyback uh, ECU that's installed on top of the car's uh, original computer so what I've done after I've installed all the parts I've put it on the dyno for the first dyno test to see what kind of performance we managed to get so to summarize in phase one we I've installed spark plugs high flow cat performance muffler headers and an air filter with a custom box so let's take a look at the results the result of the dyno came out so the car churned 220 horsepower so that's an increase of actually 30 horsepower again let me remind you i don't really care about what the exact readings are on the dyno when it comes to the the actual number whether it's the 190 before and the 220 after what i'm looking for is the curve the power curve and i'm also looking at if there's really a gain or no gain on the same dyno uh, when installing the parts so clearly in phase one, we've seen a really nice increase in power of almost 30 horsepower. Now we move over to phase two, which is the exciting one. It's the piston upgrade. So I decided to open my engine up because I had sand go inside the engine. My air filter fell off at some point and uh, my oil filter, my oil pump, sorry, ceased to work. So I decided, you know what, since I've opened the engine, I might as well look at upgrading the pistons. So I actually found uh, OEM 0.5 uh, 
piston size bigger uh, sold by Mitsubishi themselves. So I found the piston and the actual piston ring as well. So these are original parts and larger pistons for the Mitsubishi Pajero 3.8 actually sold by the dealership themselves. So what I did was I sent the engine down for boring. I've actually measured all the parts before and after to make sure everything's done to the right specification. At the same time, since the engine was open, I had all the valve areas ported. I had the air intake manifold also ported to increase uh, airflow. And I also had the uh, exhaust uh, ports also ported uh, and made bigger and smoother so that exhaust uh, and air can flow uh, in and out very uh, efficiently. Uh, the pistons you can see in the picture here, they're the before and uh, after. So uh, these are the, the, the new ones, the bigger ones look exactly like the small original ones. They've got the perfect and correct uh, valve clearances and grooves in them, as you can see in this image right here. So they're perfectly made for the car and they're, they are a perfect fit for the Pajero. Now, of course, uh, embarking on a project like this, it's quite risky, so you need to have a really good mechanic doing it. Uh, I've also made sure that um, I looked at the exact specifications when it comes to clearance, because if we get the clearance wrong, it can result in all kinds of issues um, and loss of power. So I've actually included also the specification clearances in the description below, including all the part numbers as well. So I've had it done to exact Mitsubishi specifications, but also improved the engine's efficiency and flow for of air coming in and out of the engine. After installing the pistons, I've had the engine run for almost 5,000 kilometers until it breaks in again. So it's typically a brand new engine again. And then I took it back to Unichip. I had the engine retuned and put on the dyno one more time. So I'm going to get you to enjoy the dyno scenes before we get into the results and the final reveal of how much more power we've managed to get from the piston upgrade. Now we get to the final dyno results after installing the bigger pistons and porting the engine. So if you remember from the first dyno tests, my car used to churn out 190 horsepower when I first started the modification journey. That's before all the modifications in. The total uh, horsepower output after phase one and phase two of the upgrades is now 247.8 horsepower. So that's an increase of 57 horsepower from when we started the first uh, modification journey. So the torque is peaked at 420 Newton meters. Uh, the torque curve is actually quite nice. What, what I want to say is that I don't really care about the actual numbers that you see here, the 420 or the 247 horsepower. These are just pure numbers. What I'm looking at is the actual percentage increase, more or less, and I'm also looking at the power curves. So to me, every dyno will give you a different reading. So you might wonder, did we use the same dyno? Because in the first dyno video and the second, the place looks a bit different. Yes, it's the same dyno, but it just happens that the actual dyno machine was moved to another uh, location. That's why the location looks a bit different. Uh, you can also see my torque results of how they used to be before um, and you can see how the torque curve on the chart used to drop very quickly used to peak early and drop very quickly now it's very consistent so it gives me a nice power band across different rpm ranges all the way up until 6000 and this is excellent for climbing large dunes so in summary phase one resulted in increase of 30 horsepower uh, and then phase two, after the piston upgrade and porting, we've managed to get another 27 horsepower. So in total, that's 57 horsepower or the equivalent of almost 30% uh, 
increase in power. So if you've ever wondered how could you get more power out of your Pajero, well, these are tested and verified ways and have also been tested on the dyno to ensure that they actually do work. It's also important to add that uh, after the upgrades, especially the piston upgrade, there are no heating issues at all, actually no change in engine heating dynamics, exactly the same as before, except there's more power, which is fantastic.